every hair retouch, wash well with Movit Neutralizing Hair Shampoo, then apply Movit Leave-In. Always remember to put Movit Setting Lotion before going to the dryer. For a healthy scalp and a good hair shine, use Movit Avocado Oil. Our pride is your beautiful hair. They are all winners! With Movit No Best, you can also be a winner! Movit. All day confidence. There once was a woman who had a difficult mother-in-law. She hated the way she cooked, the way she washed, the way she cleaned. But what she didn't know was that her daughter-in-law had a plan. A plan that involved a very powerful secret. A secret her mother-in-law couldn't resist. A secret no one could resist. A secret that would make her mother-in-law finally love her. Use Nunu curry powder and butter cooking oil for irresistible cooking. My secret to perfect meal every day is a combination of butter cooking oil and Nunu curry powder. Everyone deserves a fortune. Tons and tons of sugar are not only consumed in homes on a daily basis, but it is a raw material for commercial production of beverages, foodstuffs, and even in the pharmaceutical industries. This has made sugar an essential commodity in most Ugandan homes and in the entire economy since the colonial era. Kakira Sugar Works Limited, located in Jinja District, pioneered sugar production in 1930 and continued to lead in the industry in Uganda. By that time, Europe was the major market for the product, but the local market has since grown. Kakira produces 180,000 metric tons of sugar annually, accounting for close to half of the national output. Kakira Sugar Limited is the premier sugar producer in Uganda and one of the leading producers in the region. Uh, our main product is, of course, sugar. Um, it's called under our brand name Kakira Sugar, which is well known. Um, we produce uh, just under 200,000 tons of sugar every year. To give you an idea, Uganda's consumption of sugar is about 400, 450,000 tons. So we produce just about less than half. The company also produces sweets, a product of sugar. Despite the emergence of other sugar brands on the market, both local and imported, Kakira products are highly preferred in the region due to their proven quality and standards. Kakira products are also exported to other Eastern African countries like South Sudan, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Burundi, Rwanda, Tanzania and Kenya. We have started now promoting our sugar to the neighboring countries. A uh, lot of our sugar is now going to South Sudan, to Congo, uh, some to Rwanda, um, and uh, increasingly more to our big neighbor in the east, to Kenya. So we are quite excited about this uh, opportunity. The organic sugar factory is supported by the 9,700 hectare sugar plantation and the individual outgrowers who contribute about 70% of sugarcane, the only raw material in sugar production. Uh, we have uh, nearly 9,000 farmers who supply us cane. Um, and uh, because of their presence in the region, there are the linkages like transporters and so forth. So I would say that there's probably a population of about 100,000 people who one way or another depend on Kakira for their livelihood and whom we regard as our stakeholders, who we regard as our partners. After the cane is harvested, it is transported on trucks to the factory. A computerized cane transport system facilitates continuous monitoring of the canes while in transit from the plantation to the factory. The processing of sugar starts with the chopping and shredding of canes into fibrous material. The shredded material are then sent to the mill that crush and strains the juice from the cane stalks. Now we have this unit here, uh, 
as you see at the mill, so you have already seen, we are having sugar cane coming in and it's being fed on the cane carrier. It is taken for preparation where we have choppers, cutters, and the fibrizer to prepare the cane, make it so fine and open the cells. The squeezing process is repeated at least three times to separate juice from the fibrous material. At Kakira, everything is useful. The remaining residue known as bagasse is used for electricity generation. We supply 32 megawatts of power that, um, to the grid. It's sold to UECL. Um, and consumed by, then distributed by Yumimi. Um, well, the reason we generate electricity is that we've identified that we've got an excess of fuel energy in the bagasse and that there's a need for extra additional power for U uh, Uganda's development of needing electricity. So we've gone into a form of generating renewable energy because uh, source of this energy is from the sugarcane sticks which is grown every year in the fields so it's a green energy that's renewed and it's supplementing the energy to the national grid for Uganda's needs. Every hair retouch, wash well with Movit Neutralizing Hair Shampoo, then apply Movit Leave-In. Always remember to put Movit Setting Lotion before going to the dryer. For a healthy scalp and a good hair shine, use Movit Avocado Oil. Our pride is your beautiful hair. They are all winners! With Movit No Best, you can also be a winner! Movit. All day confidence. Once was a woman who had a difficult mother-in-law. She hated the way she cooked the way she washed, the way she cleaned. But what she didn't know was that her daughter-in-law had a plan. A plan that involved a very powerful secret. A secret her mother-in-law couldn't resist. A secret no one could resist. A secret that would make her mother-in-law finally love her. Use Nunu curry powder and butto cooking oil for irresistible cooking. My secret to perfect meal every day is a combination of butto cooking oil and Nunu curry powder. Everyone deserves a fortune. Then, the crystallization process follows. The thick syrup by is boiled to evaporate the excess water. After further refining sugar is deemed suitable for human consumption, it is then sent to the packaging room. On the other side, Bagasse is sent to the powerhouse for making electricity. Kakira uses 60 megawatts of its 55 megawatts capacity, selling the remainder to Umeme. We also contribute substantially to the national grid. We generate 55 megawatts of power uh, to the grid, making us one of the largest, the largest producer of power uh, after the hydroelectric uh, dams that are going up in the country. Meanwhile, Kakira plans to build an ethanol plant by the end of 2016. Our next project is of course making ethanol. Uh, ethanol is a very valuable product. Ethanol is not only used for making alcohol, this is made from molasses. Uh, molasses is at present sold to making waragi and uh, other uh, distilling. What we are going to do is to set up our own distilleries here and uh, ethanol will then be used for portable alcohol 
ethanol can also be used to run cars. And you can go up to almost 15% uh, to mix petrol with, uh, uh, to, to allow the car to run. That is a very exciting project. And that project you will be seeing in the next two years being implemented here in Kakira. The ethanol from the facility will have the capacity to produce 20 million liters equivalent to 5.3 million gallons annually. Uganda consumes around 20,000 barrels of petroleum products daily. The ethanol will be blended with gasoline to cut fuel costs, according to Mr. Kamlesh. The factory has also opened a confectionery wing making sweets and other sweeteners. Kamlesh is confident that all their new products will make an immediate impact on the market due to the Kakira Sugar Works reputation that is associated with quality. Besides marketing this sugar to neighboring countries, Kakira is also prioritizing marketing what they call the supermarket brand to Ugandans. Kamlesh says that the pricing and quality of sugar are critical. The pricing issue is very important. We are very aware of the overall limited budgets that people have here. Kamlesh also says that the Uganda National Bureau of Standards should come out strongly to teach Ugandan manufacturers about the importance of consistency in production as an inspiration for more industrialization. UNBS is doing a commendable job, but actually to go out in the field and to educate entrepreneurs, how do you produce better produce, we don't get that back up. The main thing, the critical thing, not only for sugar, not only for food produce, but for practically all agricultural produce, is people in Uganda are still not aware of the importance of consistency, you know? And that is one of the challenges that a lot of Ugandan exporters have. Uh, even when it comes to exporting things like flowers and vegetables, um, they supply good products, and then sometimes the products are not good. And that is the worst thing for a buyer. They want consistency. They don't mind paying maybe even a little bit extra, as long as they are sure that this is exactly what I'm going to get. And I think Ugandan consumers are getting more and more focused like that. They are prepared to pay a little bit of a premium to, to cater for that uh, consistency. So what we're pushing Kakira sugar to be, at present it is priced competitively. Sugar is, our sugar is, we don't get a premium um, for, uh, for, for producing sugar, Kakira sugar. But we want to make them aware, actually they're getting a better deal by buying Kakira sugar because we are in many ways more consistent and more reliable than uh, others. Kakira Sugar Works is the flagship business of the Madvani group of companies, the largest conglomerate in Uganda, accounting for over 10% of the gross domestic product, GDP. The company is also a boost to the economy of the local community as the company spends between four to five million dollars every month on nearly 9,000 outgrower farmers. Um, we contribute substantial amounts uh, to, the, to the regional economy. In terms of payments to the farmers, it's not less than four to five million dollars every month that goes into that. In terms of our payments to the farmers every month and other payments to other suppliers, if you count all of that together, I'm not counting our contribution to, of course, the revenue and the URA because that's a, a, a national thing. But that is the direct impact that we do. Kakira also contributes significantly to the Ugandan government's poverty alleviation program by supporting a number of community development projects. In terms of regional linkages, we also uh, contribute a lot by way of building roads, infrastructure. Uh, in the region. Uh, we have a very interesting uh, joint venture with uh, our farmers whereby they contribute something and we also contribute something for every ton of cane supplied to the factory. And this money is used for building schools, uh, roads and uh, clinical facilities within the uh, 30 kilometer radius of uh, Kakira. 
The company has invested an extra $75 million in their cane crushing facility, confectionery factory, and electricity generation. And with the upcoming ethanol production, one can only envisage Kakira Sugar Works Limited becoming an even stronger monument of Uganda's economy. Buy Kakira, buy Uganda.